Hey, what's up guys? It's Umish Day 3 here, and in this episode of Mathematical Minecraft, I'm going to be showing you how to work seven segment displays. These are going to be sort of indented versions, um, as opposed to the uh, version I was doing originally, where, you know, it's all backed up against it, and then the segments that you want to see get pushed out. Um, but this one is a little bit cooler. I think it's a little bit easier to see what you're looking at. Like, for example, here is an 8, um, and let's see if I power the middle one which is blue to make it disappear then we will have a zero okay so see we have a zero because I made these go away because the pistons are now pushing out so if I fly back over here and destroy that real quick the final product pretty much what you're gonna be um, having for each seven segment display it's gonna be powering um, you know it's gonna have zero through nine so you're going to have 0 through 9 all the way down like this. So this is about the size you're looking at, which is significantly smaller than what I was working with before. Um, came across this design somewhere in the interwebs. You know how it is. Um, so pretty much how this works is there's redstone torch and redstone repeater with redstone all the way across that. So this is on until it gets a signal from here. So like you flick a switch to power a 0 or something. This is going to turn on, which will turn this off, which will turn on any redstone torches you have in the front of it. And also, it's a little bit backwards, and like, say you wanted to print out a zero, you wouldn't tell it to print that, 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 and that. You would just tell it to push out the blue, because that's the middle, and then the other ones will still be left indented. Um, the only really sort of drawback to that is that your default state is an 8, unless you wire it to, you know, be blank until you get a signal or something. Um, but your default is going to be an 8, um, and then if you want to power a zero, again, like say the blue is the middle, so you tell the um, blue to get pushed out, so then it will look like this, so it's a zero. If we fly over here real quick, hit a zero, and then it pushes that out and we get a zero. Um, if we fly over here, this is pretty much what the back is going to look like. You just have sticky pistons in the form of an eight, and then you know, you've got your stones here for how they're going to line up. Um, so there's a sticky piston. And a really easy way to start wiring this that will keep you from um, doing a lot of things wrong. Come on. Let's see. Light blue and then dark green. Okay, on the bottom, I have pink. And this is pretty important. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and just make it into a square. So then when you wire it here and you have the rest of your stuff coming off of it, it doesn't really matter where you come off as long as it's somewhere off the front. Uh, so this way, when you power it, it will only push those bottom two. Let's see if you get rid of this. Let's see. Oh, not that. This. Turn that off. Um, once you have other blocks, it'll actually power this piston also. I think if you put this one, C. Um, and you've got to use that to power this one. So it just it's just really inconvenient. Any way that you order these is going to be a problem. But the way you solve it is if you just put redstone here, it'll bring that back in. So hopefully that makes sense. That's one of the little... Um, problems with this. And then if for the middle one we've got light blue, make a square with that. And then the top one we got green, make a square with that. And then when you're powering all of these, just make sure you make the full square there. Um, for the sides, let's see if I can get yellow. The easiest way to do this is just put one there, there, and there. And that will power both of these pistons. But see, then also, you have to worry about down here, the redstone will try to get on this piece and connect, but you can just put two blocks here and those will stop those from interacting. Same up here with the blues, once you've got whatever color goes over here, uh, I'll just make it gray for now. If you're doing it the same way, that will keep that from interacting. So once you've got that all wired, have it come out all pretty, and you have this come across, again it's a redstone torch and then that and redstone all the way across, and then you just tell it to, like for this, uh, for example, when I turn on this one, it will uh, push out everything so we will have a blank display. Um, so see how I've got it right there? I was actually going to show you that this won't work. See, because this is still on. So the way you actually have to do it is you have to make sure that the redstone is going into it. So you can't have a square either. It has to be pointing into it and see then it'll turn it off. So I'll show you there. If you've got it this way, it won't work. If you destroy that, then it will work. So we should have a blank face and we do. Um, say we wanted to make a 1, we would want to leave the orange and green. So we leave on the green and we leave on the orange. 
fly out front here, and we have a one. Um, so that's pretty much the simplest way to do it. Um, again, you're just going to have a bunch of these lined up next to each other. Here's my finished one. Um, and then like a zero, you push out the middle. One, you're going to leave green and orange. Two, blah, blah, blah. You get the, uh, you get the idea. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys for now. I'm going to try to keep all these videos really short, um, but I am going to be very good about answering questions. So if you have anything, just leave it in the comment section below, and I will get back to you very quickly um, here. I was kind of going to redo this in a little different way, and so here to feed the full adders and things, I just have it go underground. Um, I was going to try to make a lot of this just very not visible. So there's a lot of stuff going on down here. Like, say we break this random one. Uh, break that, break that. There's a lot of underground stuff here, and I thought I'd make it a lot... Uh, cooler looking if you can't see what's going on really under the covers because that stuff doesn't matter. The real intricate parts like this I'm going to leave up and floating because they look kind of cool. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys for now. So thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff if you've got any questions. And I will see you all later.